Hello everybody and welcome to Turbo Reviews. I'm here to do a little quick review on a uh, really killer little uh, uh, micro FPV all-in-one camera VTX. A crazy pony. Really seems to be an awesome little camera. They're on Amazon. I'll list the link in the uh, in the description. Here's what it looks like. I've got it in this little canopy now. Don't know that I'm going to use that or not. I might. It comes with that. Uh, one of these little canopies. As you can take it out. It doesn't come in the canopy. I put it in there. But uh, it also has, uh, real quickly, uh, OSD can be achieved with this little guy. Uh, it has your uh, red I mean your uh, yellow, uh, I believe that's video in, and your white is video out. If you want to go in and out on your, if your flight controller, uh, it has that. The reason I have it taped up is because you can solder them together and just have a, uh, a tiny whoop or a all-in-one VTX camera with just your positive and negative, and it'll run straight through. And uh, if your flight controller, like, uh, I'm about to put it in a build so I can show you the, uh, the picture of it with the little camera uh, outputs into the uh, goggle DVR and my goggles or a, or a monitor, whichever I record with. But uh, I'm going to record some DVR with it. But the flight controller I have for this little build uh, does not support uh, OSD. I wish it did because this is really an awesome, and that's what I'm going to end up using this camera for. I'm going to take it out of this build and just put a normal one in it uh, and put this one in an OSD build, micro build, because, I mean, that's that's really neat. That's a bonus. Uh, OSD, you know, is uh, the new thing, and uh, you've got beta flight OSD on your flight controller. you got your video in and out right there, and that's, uh, for a $20 uh, micro all-in-one cam, pretty neat, pretty neat feature. Uh, dimensions. Looks like we are about 17 or 18, probably 18, maybe, I'll say 16 this direction, 16 this way, uh, 18 that way. And including the button, 15 as far as the board goes, but about uh, 18 all the way to the uh, top of the antenna, where the antenna button's on. Another good uh, aspect on this, it has the uh, not soldered on, but yet uh, IPEX uh, snap-on uh, antenna so you can either change that for a clover leaf if you'd rather or uh, I like I prefer the dipoles like this on uh, on nanos and micros field of view I believe it said was 120 degrees so that's a pretty decent field of view uh, really excited about trying this little guy out it's perfect little size for uh, for the build I'm about to do you'll see and a little camera magic, and here we're back. I have the uh, little Nano that I uh, had some parts for. It has the uh, Tiny Fish uh, flight controller. Camera, uh, video in and out, uh, wired together, and we're just using the power, power cord uh, to uh, transmit a frequency to the uh, goggles for a picture. So, Let's go see how it looks. Uh, let's check out the picture of this little guy. I'm going to do an indoor flight and uh, sit downstairs in my home and uh, try to fly around the, you know, upstairs and downstairs, wherever I can fly to. And, uh, you know, there'll be a small amount of breakup uh, for I've got Wi-Fi and many things running in the, uh, in the home. So uh, 
every indoor camera I have does have a little bit of breakup, but uh, not too bad. So uh, here we go. Let's see how she FPVs. <laughs> 